Nini kitu imekasisha watu wengi Mr. President? Na hii shida yote ilianza ile time ya floods. Remember time ya floods? Wakati watu walikuwa wanateseka, you never even said a word. A week later on, we saw you on a plane, on a private plane to the US, carrying all sorts of people, unnecessary people to the US. Hapo ndo shida ikaanza. You never said a word. Ukirudi bado nyumbani, tukaanza mambo ya reject the finance bill kanyamaza tu uko na tunena maandamano you never said a word until watu wakaanza kuuliwa that's when you decided to reject the finance bill mr president surely mbona huo unanyamaza alafu unapenda uongo sana unaona tu vitu vinafanyika when it gets out of hand alafu tunaanza kuongea saizi tuna kuna watu wanazika watoto wao saizi vile tunaongea saizi hata kuna rafiki yangu saizi anazikwa sasa hivi ni matanga hii wiki imekuwa ni matanga sababu ya maandamano but you are here thinking about the economy you are not even sympathetic to the families uja mention hata jina mtu mmoja kuna swali pia nilo mejibu sema about rongai you ask us kila mtu kwa hii space wanatoka from different regions in Nairobi in Kenya yeah rongai people are killed gidora people are killed however the information you receive unadhani they, they tell you only one person was killed okay that's a life too they they do not feed you they do not feed you the actual uh, the actual information so you are just weighing the deaths of people the number of people people are not killed was not aware people are not abducted you are just arrested some of us were arrested and your excuse is that the police unit is an independent body surely mr president what are you going alafu unasema police unit is independent Alafu kato na uliwa ya excuse na sema the economy is growing. How can this is right now the country is mourning. Properties worth of billions were banned. You have not addressed that. All you think about is the the foreign the foreign policy and the economic status of the country, not about the the livelihood the of the common man energy. Surely, Mr. President. We need you to be with you. Be empathetic. Your government should be empathetic. You should stop this issue of police brutality. That's what, that's what we want right now. Personally, the police came to my house at 3 a.m. They broke into my house. They, they refused to identify themselves. And that was it. We are abducted. It was like kidnapping. Mr. President tulishikwa, tukapigwa. They even stole some stuff from our house. Imagine askari anakuja, akona bunduki anangia kwa nyumba, akona mask. Twelve of them, with twelve cars arresting a single guy, an armed citizen. Alafu kimambia mwona anakuja kushika, anakupiga. In the meantime, bado anachukua vitu kwa nyumba yako. Unapele kwa police flani hatu ujini, not even a police station. When my friends were reporting the issue to the police station, they are not even aware. For my case, they even went to Parkland Police Station. That's where I was arrested. The OCPD told the guys, we know about this thing, but will not make any, will not take any action. Meaning it was very criminal. The OCPD, Parkland Police Station OCPD, Deputy OCPD was very much aware what was going on. We are not, we are not booked in a, any single police station. We were taking a certain house. I think it was a safe house or something. I was blindfolded. Some guys were blindfolded for like 12 hours. Surely, Mr. President, are we in a terrorist country? We just want you to answer that. Okay. This, this way we're in this space. Thank you very much, my friend. I, I regret your situation. If, if that is the kind of treatment you have gone through, I apologize. And I will take action in this manner. No Kenya. And I made a commitment uh, to the people of Kenya that there will be no extrajudicial killing. There will be no river Yala. There will be no, you know, we used to have 20, 30 bodies in the river, in the Yala. When I came into office, I said nothing of that is ever going to happen. And I want to promise the people of Kenya that that will 
that will not happen under my watch. However, I have had the kind of horror you have gone through. That is not right. What I will do after this uh, engagement, I would like, I don't know, in a very uh, 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 um, uh, secretive way, if you can send me the details of what happened, I will be able to take action because you don't you don't deserve the kind of uh, treatment that you went through. 